Even waking up might only mean to step into another nightmare. It could still mean that the lights were set, camera and sound were running with the crew watching. They were always watching silently. Each one with his or her own thoughts and fears about what we were doing and where we were going. All I knew was that Nick was in immense pain, that it might be better to stop shooting, but that nothing might be more painful for him than that. The next morning I had to make a phone call to the production office in Los Angeles and what I had been afraid of turned out to be true. I had to be back there the following morning. Why does he have to suffer so much? That bad every night. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Let's get back. Tom was disappointed that the shooting was going to be interrupted. More for Nick, though, than for himself. On the way back to the loft, we caught a glimpse of Nick and Susan leaving in a taxi. Where to? We had been preparing a scene that we wanted to do soon. What's happening, Chris? Susan took Nick to the hospital. Why? He didn't feel well, so he wanted to go there. Where? He's up at uh, Memorial Hospital. It's on York Avenue between 67th and 68th Street. You maybe oh, see your yeah. pain? I think so. Did he have to throw up again? Yeah, his stomach was upset. 